Hey guys, if you ever missed your pit stall going into the pit, or you just want to see your pit limiter status because your current view and FOV just doesn't let you see it, or you just want to have an easier way of looking at your tire status, then make sure you watch the video. So let's talk about the Pitbox Helper overlay because this is the overlay that's going to help you in all of those things I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You can find the overlay in the overlay section and it's called Pitbox Helper. One of the uniqueness of this overlay is that it doesn't need to show all the time. So by default, this overlay will only show up when you're entering the pit, when you're staying in the pit and when you're leaving the pit. And the reason is because you don't necessarily need this information all the time during your races or during your practices. So we provided a default behavior that this overlay is not going to show um, while you're doing your laps on the track. It's only going to show when you enter the pit and why you're in the pit. Now, there's a settings for it and it's right over here. If you see, we have an option to always show the overlay in case you need it, but it's by default turn off after you leave the pit it's going to show number of seconds so you can analyze it you can have a look at it and understand what's going on and we set a 15 second delay before it disappears so when you're coming out of the pit you're going to have 15 seconds to have a look at the data of your tires and then it's going to disappear and you're going to only see it when the next time you enter the pit. If you don't want that, you can always change it. You can say, I always want this to show, so I'm going to turn this on, meaning that you're going to see this every time in all the laps you do on the track, even when you're not in the pit. We have a general settings. We all know about this. You can change the font and the opacity and the scale of the overlay, which eventually going to change the overlook and the size of it. But going into the settings tab, which is the more important stuff, is where you actually can configure the overlay on your need. Everything that you see on the overlay is optional. You can turn it on and off. So let's have a look at one by one. On the very first, on the top, it's called the pit limiter status. It's basically telling you whether your pit limiter in the car is enabled or disabled, or turned on or turned off. Now, it's useful for many, many reasons. Sometimes you just don't see the pit limiter status in the game because your FOV is just way too small or way too big. So you don't see it. For that, you can have this overlay and put it somewhere where you can actually see it. There are some cars where you don't actually have a pit limiter, so therefore you don't need it. Then you can just turn it off and then you won't have it. Turning on is always a good idea if you have a car that has a pit limiter. The next thing is the pit stall distance indicator. This indicator tells you when you're going into the pits how far away your pit stall is. You know, the location where you actually have to stop the car for refueling or for changing the tires. And it's going to go from a completely dark background to this background which has arrows on it and it's going to go up and when you reach your pit stall it's eventually going to go up to 100% so that you know where exactly it is. Sometimes you have a lot of cars during a race and you, you just don't see your pit crew and so this could also help you figuring out really how far away you are. Again it's optional, you can turn it on and off, it's completely up to you. The next thing we're gonna cover is the pit speed delta. Now this is going to indicate whether you're going over or under the limit of the pit speed limit that is defined on different tracks. Now this speed limit in the pits are different for different tracks, so it can be higher and lower. So what we are showing here, we're showing a delta compared to the limit that you have to get close to. In the demo overview, you're just going to see that we are going 85 km per hour higher than the actual pit speed limit is. When you're going to see the demo footage, you will see how it works. 
if you go slower than the speed limit you're going to see a bar here if you're going higher than the speed limit then you're going to see a bar on the right side with a red color and again this is toggle ball uh, you can turn it on and off depends on what you want the next thing we're going to talk about is tire status now tires can have tire wear information on it and also temperature information now tire wear is obviously how used your tires were after you changed it and temperature is how hot it was right after you changed it you can turn the tire temperature on and off it's completely up to your personal preference next thing is what i think is the the most interesting option is the tire wear you have four tires let's just have a look at the front left tire the front left tire has three tire wear percentage 20 50 and 70 percent that means that the outside of the tire had 20 percent left on the tread and in the middle you had 50 percent and on the inside of the tire you had a 70 percent tread left we do have some visualization for the tire wear as you can see by default you have this we call grayscale visualization that you see that 20% is darker than the 70% and the 100% is kind of the the brightest color is the white color the more you use the tire the darker it gets we have different visualizations for it let's have a look at it the second visualization is called color which going to show you the tire wear with like a color scale going from green to red if you didn't use the tire at all it's going to be green and it's going to transition into red if you reach zero percent that's a red tire the next visualization is graph which is going to show you the tire wear with sort of a graph view the less thread you have on the tire the less the size of this bar is going to be so you can see 20 percent over here 70 percent over here and sort of 100 percent over here so you're going to see it uh, very easily if you just have a look at it you're going to see the status of that tire and have a look at the last one which is the color and the graph option which is sort of a combination of the color and the graph visualization so you can see bars on the different part of the tire and you can also have the color code in there which we talked about before let's see how this looks in action i'm going to enter the pits with this car i'm going to change the tires and then leave the pit lane let's see how this looks you can see the overlay shows up right before i cross the start of the pit lane and then as you can see here um, we can tell how far away are we from our pit stall our speed is just on the limit as um, the maximum allowed speed I try to go a bit slower so I can show you guys how it looks when you are below the pit, uh, pit speed and then above the pit speed and on top you're going to see let me stop right there on top you're going to see that the bar is growing let me go back a little bit in this video so let's see how it looks um, um, as you can see it's coming down from 300 and then going down to 50 200 150 and then when you reach the hundreds then you're going to see this bar visualizing how far your pit stall is so you can have a better guess and you don't need to actually look at the number as you can see we are now 50 30 20 and right there and when you're in the pit box it's gonna show you that you are in the pit box now we are changing the tires as you can see we already see the tires and uh, we had for example on the top left tires we had 88 51 and 50 percent of tire wear you can see also the temperatures there as you can see the overlay disappeared as as we set it to only show for 15 seconds after exiting the pit so i'm stopping the car and i'm going to turn on the option that i want to see it all the time here it comes back and then i'm going to change the visualization to show you guys how this looks sort of a real world circumstances even that it's just a demo 
So I turned on the color mode where you can see yeah, color visualization. And then I'm going to turn on the graph mode. This is how it looks in the graph mode. And then last is going to be color and graph, which looks like this. So this is all you need to know about the Pitbox Harper overlay. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below. I hope it's going to be a useful overlay for all of you guys, because I do think it's a better way of looking at your tire data and all the different metrics we're showing up there. We actually did improve a lot by just posting an early version on Twitter and Facebook. We gathered a lot of good feedbacks that you guys gave us and I really appreciate that. So please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the newest updates we're releasing. We always try to cover a great explanation about all the features we have because we know it's not easy to just look at the settings and the different options in the overlay you also need an explanation for it sometimes so please subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next time